I'm Dr. Seth Schultz of Functional Spine and Sport. In this treatment video today, we are going to be assessing the sciatic nerve, and more specifically, the test is the straight leg test. If you can remember back to some of the videos we posted before, this test can actually show up uh, in a low back pain patient, and this test can be limited on them. This test can help us differentiate or distinguish between a disc injury or a true sciatic nerve entrapment or even adhesion in the hamstring. So I'm gonna perform this test and then show you what the treatment looks like for a patient in our office. So what we're assessing here is the hamstring flexibility, but also how healthy the sciatic nerve is. A healthy test for this should be 90 degrees. So as we bring this patient up, the leg should be almost here. So almost 90 degrees there. Hers is 75 degrees. The sciatic nerve runs from the low back down the side of the hip and all the way up through the hamstring. So where do you feel that? All in the back. Okay. So as I flex her toe down, that's gonna pull the nerve through the muscles in the hamstring and you can see she kind of wants to bend out of that. Where do you feel that now? Uh, back into the calf. Okay, so the moved up into the hamstring and through the calf even. So that nerve is getting stuck here in the hip. Okay, so now we're gonna to move to the treatment. So here we are palpating the most common area for the nerve to get stuck in the hip muscles. So here you have the side of the hip, back of the hip, then a little gutter between the hip and then the nerve right there. When I push my thumb into that nerve, I should be able to push the nerve about a half an inch and it's just getting stuck there. So that nerve is physically getting stuck to the muscles here in the hip. When that happens, it creates a huge tugging effect and then extra stress on the low back itself. So now we're gonna do the treatment. So I'm gonna sink into the muscle, into the nerve, and then lean into the adhesion so we can break that apart with treatment. Okay, go ahead. So what I'm feeling under my thumb is a nerve sliding underneath my thumb here, and the adhesion is trapped right there so I can physically break that apart and let that nerve slide easier each time we move her leg. The one thing that will break down adhesion and the only thing that will break apart adhesion is tension into the adhesion itself. Go. Massage or acupuncture or any other instrument technique will not break apart adhesion. Okay. okay. And now after every treatment, we do a retest measurement so we can see what progress we made with each visit. So now we're going to retest that measurement. As you can see a really really good change. Not quite 90 degrees, about 85 degrees there. Where do you feel that? It's because of my hamstring. Okay. Same intensity as before? A little less. Okay. And still into the calf. Okay. So that was one treatment. Obviously, we're going to do more treatments for that to get that completely cleaned out of the uh, out of the hip. But what we expect with that is that to get better over time. And as that test gets better, that's going to decrease the stress on the low back and eliminate a lot of the low back pain problem you're having. 
Thanks for watching.